Okay, so here we go. This is Chris Chang, and he is a famous skateboard guy. You gotta check him out on YouTube. He doesn't know what's gonna be on him right now, and he's scared of spiders. Oh gosh, Chris, do not open them. <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny, because... Yeah, we got that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Get it close, get it close. Oh my god. Get it close. I'm about ready to pass out. Uh, oh my god. Where, where is it? If Push this would there. freak you out, make it's, sure you share the video. It's on your ear. Close tag a friend. Oh, it tickles. Close tag a friend that this would freak him out. Let's see if we can get him all the way back up here. Oh my God, Chris! That's really <laughs> nice. Tag a friend with this if you woke up and this freaked you Guys. out. <gasps> the claws! Oh my God, the claws! Oh my God, it's got a claw right on your ear. Oh, it's so terrifying. Uh -oh. Open out. your eyes! Open your eyes! Open your eyes! <laughs> God, I'm scared. That's great. That is so good. Oh my I'm god. I'm gonna do it, guys. I'm so scared. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Oh this fuck, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. This is oh, this is scary oh, Sam on Earth. The... Oh, oh Chris, come and have a look at it now. Sam, look, Sam, you're doing it. The scariest oh, thing on Earth. Oh my to you. god, I hate oh. this thing. Oh, I can't believe I just had that on my face. <laughs> oh my god, that was on my face. I told you, don't look at it. Sam, you did it, you did it. Oh, this is my biggest fear. This is his biggest fear. It, so we're facing fears today. Here. Sam climbs on top of huge buildings, almost gets put in prison for staying <laughs> all night in places, and he's scared of that ugly, nasty creature oh, that Harry Potter so would probably gross. run if he got near it. <laughs> This That's is pretty awesome. the scariest animal I've ever seen That's in my life. Right. I can't believe I'm holding this right it's now. It's alive! Oh my god, look at that. That's terrifying. To be completely honest, this is a really mellow type of tarantula. It's called the Chilean Rose Tarantula. We take them to birthday parties. You gotta trust me a little bit too, okay? Chris, so if he, if he makes any anything. fast moves, don't freak out. It means nothing. All it means is he's moving. So, and he's got little hooks on the end of his fingers. So it's gonna feel a little funny to you because you've never held one, obviously. And uh, why, why is your hair standing up on your arms? <laughs> Here we go, come on. So just let him walk right on you. We'll let him go real slow. Oh, it's so light. Wow. It's, but you feel the little hooks on each, yeah, each time yeah. it walks. It's like little hooks because those little hooks are gonna make sure, like the snake was wrapping its tail around, well, those little hooks are kind of making sure he's got a grip because he doesn't want to fall because if he does, oh it'd be really bad. tarantula on my hand. I never really talk about that, but it was one of my fears, tarantulas. Scorpions. Yeah, all scor I think scorpions get I me mean, more than tarantulas. Because there's a... Yeah, that stinger on the back. Right. I don't know. They're all... They're, to, me, the, to me, all those legs and two fangs... Only spiders. Moving I'm fast. I'm scorpion right now and not feel scared. Yeah. I will. Yeah, scorpions are scared. Only spiders, because the legs, dude. It's they move so fast, yeah, too. They're, right. they're like just That's like their legs is. going everywhere. Now you ready to hold it? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> how, how bad is the sting? And it's like a bee sting. I mean, are you allergic to bees? No. Why do you look so nervous? <laughs> Biting your lip? <laughs> <laughs> Sweat dripping off your head? <laughs> So you faced a fear. It looks ready. Doesn't it feel cool to face a fear? Yeah, it does. And not only did you face, you actually as you're saying that it stings. Yeah. <laughs> you actually <laughs> faced a fear with one that has a high probability of stinging. To be completely <laughs> honest, this is not an emperor scorpion. So, and you still did it. The scorpion king. That's it. There you go. This out. Yeah. So you know you're like the killer skateboard guy. Well, I'm the killer snake guy. <laughs> and when I say that, what I do is we breed snakes. Me and uh, Tim actually here, we breed a bunch of snakes to create different colors. So the so color you don't, like, so you don't know Well, I would have an idea. So like this is a tiger anthrax bred to a sun tiger, double head albino anthrax. So this is probably albinos. They'll have albinos, albino anthrax, albino tiger anthrax, uh, anthrax, anthrax platinums. Uh, it'll have sunfire anthrax, sun platy anthrax. It's, it's crazy. It's like a lot when they hatch. Which yeah. One, which one's like the rare and when you would want? To be honest, this clutch is going to have a whole bunch of things I'm going to want. Some world's first that have never been seen before. So we're literally like mad scientists. <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm messing around. <laughs> so how, how much do these go for? This might have a $20,000 baby in it. So it's kind of crazy, right? <laughs> I've been doing this for a long time. I know what, come here, I'm going to have you hold your first python. Oh, there you go. That's the safest way to hold the snake. Got him to hold the python! <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty crazy, right?
right? Yeah, that's pretty wild. So the funny thing about Python X, we gotta make sure they don't get change position. So like I watched you the whole time and so I know it's gonna go back in the same position. Because unlike chicken eggs have to be rotated, Python X have to stay stable. So they're actually, when they're laid, they're stuck together. See how these are stuck together? So those are actually glued together. So that's the way they were when I pulled them out. And I can take, I take them apart, like that was obviously glued to one, that was obviously glued to one. But I, but I, uh, anyway, it's pretty great. Yeah, we keep them in the same position. That's and, why it's uh, got this like sand bed in to keep them up the right way. Well, that's actually for multiple reasons. It's to drain the water. They have to have a lot of humidity. So it's to keep the water from actually being on the egg and it's actually to keep the humidity in the, in the container. <laughs> so you're getting a crash course on pythons. This is just a little tiny one. Look at the, look at, oh, see? Oh no. Come on. See, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, my. See, see his lure? You can see his lure right that there. That little red thing? Yeah, well you can see this, that other one's head's about the same weight as this whole turtle. But this turtle here could still easily probably bite a, a two by two and a half. Imagine that tip of that sharp beak coming together at 1,500 pounds per square inch. And that thing's like a hundredth of a square inch. So that, that math goes crazy when it gets going. That's a dinosaur. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I mean kiss it. <laughs> He's scared of a snake. You should be scared of a turtle. You get a camera shot? Camera shot. <laughs> Look at the teeth on him. Yeah. So here you go. Just give him a lot of support in his belly. Okay. That is that is a dinosaur, a living dinosaur. Look at his head wow. and his back. Not that many people can say that they have held one of these. Let's check this out. So this is a Burmese python. <laughs> Where are you going? Where did you go? <laughs> He hasn't bit anybody all day. What are you worried about? Oh <laughs> come on over here. Uh. You can't come here. You can't come to the reptile zoo without holding a good sized snake. This is a little one. Jump in there. All right. Come you on. Get in there. You're brave. No, I get no, around your neck. Go, yeah. go, ahead. go ahead. We'll put no, it around your neck. Yeah. He's a constrictor. He likes a good grip. Oh. <laughs> Dude, this is head. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow, that feels crazy. He's touching my butt. <laughs> that costs like, extra. He gave me a little kiss on the butt. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> He's getting a little tight up here. He's <laughs> getting a little bit tight up here. <laughs> Did I tell you it's $10 to take it off? <laughs> here, hold on to this right here. Hold on to that right here. Yeah, just, just cut it right there. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just okay. put your hand right here. Hold on. Take it off my neck. No, no. Just hold on right here. Tighter though, huh? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> it's getting very tight. Just hold on to this for one second. <laughs> <laughs> one second. I want to get one. Just hold it. One second. One second. Oh, he's oh, getting tighter. <laughs> 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 Okay, now hold on for one second. Yeah. Right there. Hello? I'll be right back. I go to the bathroom. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Oh, he's a nice fellow. Does it make you a little nervous? <laughs> he's a nice fellow. He's like, he's all up in there. He's just flirting. He's just flirting a little bit. He's just so heavy. Oh my god. It's like misleading how heavy they are. Right? <laughs> I think uh, that'd be that. Uh, heavy. Can I just tell you this a little one? <laughs> yeah, you've got a bigger upgrade than that color. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I thought it was like trying to squeeze and break my neck. <laughs> like, Dude, I was getting scared, man. It's <laughs> <laughs> getting tied up in there. <laughs> I've, I've never lost anybody yet. <laughs> All right, don't volunteer for that. <laughs> oh my god, so smooth. Oh. That might be. <laughs> Isn't that cool? I don't even want to film right now. I just want to show this man. I get the smash out of you. Yeah. So soft. What's up, guys? I'm Chris Chan, and uh, I skateboard and make you. Oh, well, hold on here. Hold on here. This is my dream, man. I'm the reptile guy. <laughs> He's sharing my. I'll share my dream. That's okay with sharing the dream. But this is living the dream for me. And uh, obviously, you know that because you're following me. <laughs> and uh, Chris here is the man with skateboarding and uh, YouTube. You got to check him out. It's he's got some really cool stuff. Mike Hucker jumped 20 feet the length of one of our big pythons. Now we got a python on a on a some pro skateboarder dude's neck. Woo! Almost. Oh, <laughs> Today we're gonna be doing some NDBs. The first ever snake clip with a rare snake. How? 
pretty rare. That's a rare stick. All black, particularly the five pound plus to be bred to look that way. Pretty sure it's that style. So we're here. We've got the big yellow one. Is this a first? Is this first generation? Or that is. That is actually the probably. Is this the first tiger titanium platinum in the world? Actually. Wow. Yes. First of a nice color, and we've got the black one here. Oh, it's so smooth. And we've got Chris Chan, skateboard yeah. legend. Not to mention Sam Pe Pe Sam Pepper. Yeah, I always yeah, say Peter. Yeah, Sam right, Pepper, Jay. the legend. And of course Jay, the snake mad scientist, the man himself. Snake master. He's almost like you know in Jurassic Park when they like breed and they make these new dinosaurs. That's all. That's Jay, yeah. but for the snake. Uh, I get to go all over the world because of it. The good yeah. part is I have Tim, Tim that backs me up to make all this crazy yeah. stuff. So he, he's the modest one, the man behind the scenes. He, yeah, he's the guy that doesn't like the camera, but he likes making this crazy yeah. stuff. <laughs> uh, it's crazy. Thanks for letting us be part of your dream. Oh, I, you know what? That's why I say living the dream, and I got a whole bunch of cool YouTube people coming over and checking things out, and uh, it's fun because I mean. Now, I guarantee you, how much more do you like snakes than you did when you yeah, first got I here? I love them. Ah! I'm in love. We even, got a, we even got a videographer hiding back there, and he was scared to death of snakes, and he just had this around his neck, and he was not going to hold anything. <laughs> it's just the kind of fear of not knowing with snakes. Like, we don't know, like Chris was saying, snakes are so mysterious to me. Like, we don't know enough about snakes. No one's really held a big snake like this, so until you have, you can't really understand it, and I think that's what it is. It's just like I was scared of diving after I dove a couple times. I realized it was mostly in my head and not in, you know, in my mind and not in reality, and if you... You know what you're doing, you get a little bit of education about them, and all of a sudden you can go do things, you know? It frees you. 